Are you ready? Of course. <laughs> gonna pray? Yep. Okay. You ready? Yep. Nope. Probably not. I'm gonna cry. Go ahead. Caitlin, you are the love of my life, my better half, and my best friend. From the first day we were together, I knew you were my soulmate. I promise to love and appreciate you in good times and bad. I vow to always be faithful and always stand by your side, no matter what the future might hold. You have always wanted the best for us, and you inspire me to be a better person each and every day. Together, we will face the future without fear because we will always have each other to rely on. I promise to be kind, patient, and forgiving. I promise to take care of you for the rest of my life. This is my promise now and forever. I love you. Right now. Turn around. Oh, I'm right <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I look You're great. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, this beautiful weather, the beautiful mountains. Thank you for getting us to this day with all of our friends and family. Please help to guide us today and throughout our marriage. Please be with us and let us look to you for guidance. This is in your name that I pray. Amen. Amen. Joshua Glenn. This is it. We made it. My heart could explode with the amount of love that I have for you. I can't imagine it could be more than what I'm feeling right now. But each day I find that I love you more than the day before. Your kindness and empathy towards others is the thing I admire most about you. You are hardworking, hilarious, thoughtful, and forgiving. And each day you show me grace and respect. You believe in me and push me to be the best version of myself. There is not a moment that passes that I ever doubt your love for me. I promise to put our relationship first. I love you unconditionally, to support you and all that you do and always have your back. I promise to never stop putting effort into our relationship, to always communicate kindly, but most importantly, to never stop loving you. Joshua Glenn, you are my forever. Do you, Joshua, vow to place Caitlin above all others, before all others, and stand true and unwavering in your support for her? I do. Do you, Caitlin, vow to place Joshua above all others, before all others, stand true and unwavering in your support for him? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Joshua, you may kiss the bride. Mr. and Mrs. Wavell.
Josh. Growing up, he's the youngest of four brothers. He was always what we considered the innocent one, the, uh, the goody-goody. The one that stayed on track, went to college, graduated. I guess what I'm getting at here is that, uh, Caitlin, you're pretty lucky because you got the best of all of us. And Josh, but from the bottom of my heart, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the man you've become. So everybody raise their glasses and give a congratulations to Josh and Caitlin. Caitlin, seeing the impact you've had on Josh has been an absolute amazing experience for myself and I'm sure everyone else in this room. To Josh, I quickly figured out you weren't just a friend or a best friend, but a big brother to me. It's been a true pleasure watching him grow over the years and get to this point he is now. So if there's, uh, there's no one better than himself to be in this position tonight, let's uh, cheers to Caitlin and Josh being married in many more years to come. Caitlin has always been sassy, independent, and so much fun in her own right. But since she met Josh, she's had a new glow, and it really suits her. Josh, I like to consider myself a pretty good judge of character and unfortunately a pretty harsh critic. I liked you immediately. I could see how kind and sweet you are to my girl. I could also see how you love her and challenge her in the best way. You're a winner in my book. I love you both very much and wish you all the happiness forever. <laughs> Let's raise our glasses to the new Mr. and Mrs. Wavell. May for better or for worse be far better than worse. And may their glasses be always half full.